Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, um, I need to come on here and do a quick video. It's been pressed up on me all day, and I don't want to let tonight pass by going into tomorrow without warning Houston. Warning Houston. Houston Travelers, everybody that is going to uh, the Super Bowl game, um, I want you to be on high alert, okay? I want you to be on high alert. Why? Because we must, if you are Christian, we must redeem the times for they are evil. Before I get done with this video, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Um, if you have your Bibles, please get them with me real quick. If you're a Houston traveler, you're, you're planning on going to the game, pull up the Bible app on your phone, whatever you have to do. I want you to trust me and follow me with these scriptures, okay? Daniel chapter 2, verse 22 says, and this is for those, anyway, it says, He revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. So many of you know that um, the Lord has spoke, showed me things. I am um, more of a seer. You know, I have visions, dreams a lot, okay? Uh, most have come to pass. Some still haven't. But the key thing is with this scripture, it says, He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness. Darkness meaning evil. A lot of the times we bring these videos forward, like um, other prophets, uh, uh, the Harvest Army, Church of Harvest Army, everything that they speak, they bring it to pass. And they put it back up on the video show when they prophesied. And I wish I knew how to do that. I'm not, you know, um, gifted in that area with computer stuff. But um, I do my best. But the whole purpose is to not only be on guard and be alert, but to pray Christians. So I'm speaking to the, the servants of God to, to pray. There's a lot of, a lot of us. And when I speak to you guys, I say it all the time, I speak to myself, there's a lot of us who don't pray. When we see these things in titles, we don't pray against the hand of the enemy um, to stop the things that is done in the darkness. Because evil can't happen unless, you know, the Lord, we know, allows certain things to happen. And a lot of times these things happen is because of uh, rebellion or certain sins and whatever. But what is in the darkness, uh, Amos 3 and 7 says, He revealed uh, the secret things to his servants, the prophets. So main key point, I want to point out again, Daniel chapter 222, that when we see these things that is hidden in the darkness, that the Lord, by his servants of God, bring forward to warn you, we also need to stand watch and also pray against these things. That we don't want these things to happen, but we have to bring them forward just to keep you on guard. But we also must pray against these things to stop from, to keep them from happening. Because um, a sister in Christ uh, mentioned to me tonight and it was like a, so true that um, Satan knows that he has but a short time. So what better way, Houston, to try to take out a crowd load of people that are not saved? Because you can rest assured that it is going to be some people at this stadium, at the Super Bowl, that is not saved. And he want to take out as many as he possibly can because he knows that he has a short time. Revelation 12, 12, okay? 
So we must be on guard. Now, the reason why, let me show you the reason why I say this. I want to show you two quick snippets of two videos before I go any further. I went to bed last night. Many of you know I just did a dream, just did a dream, um, spoke of the dream that I had recently that had um, a stadium in it, cruise ship, body of water, a plane. This happened on, this dream I had was on January 19th, okay? I went to bed just, just kind of thinking like, I wonder if this dream had anything to do with Houston. Stadium, okay? Um, so there's, there may be some relevance to it. It may not happen. It may be something else, um, another stadium. I don't know. But I don't want to go to bed without warning you and putting you on guard. And let me show you some of the reasons why. When I went to bed thinking that, could it be possibly Houston? This is what came to me in the weary hours of the morning. I'm going to show you a quick video of uh, a subscriber. Thank you, Anthony, uh, for sending me this. Let me show you this. You can say what you want to say. A lot of people like to scientists for some reason, and I'm going to show you another video. A lot of scientists like to put a scientific spin. Oh, the birds, black birds, they migrate. They do this this time of the year. They sure do, but they don't do it on the magnitude like that. They don't fly around and get all around on cars. I went and did some research, you guys. This, these birds. This video that I just showed you was Houston, Texas, okay? Remember, I went to bed just pondering and meditating on, Lord, was this dream had anything to do with Houston? This video got sent to me about 2 or 3 o'clock this morning, okay? Number one. Number two, um, the, the, the way the birds swarm in it was very apocalyptic. Three, the dream that I had, was on January 19th. These birds was in Houston on January 19th, the same day that I had the dream. Uh, again, I don't know, but I want to show you this second, this second video. Um, watch this. Now, let me tell you another reason what made me come and put this up. And I may tag this video along with this so you can see the dream and the nature of it. As I'm sharing this video with another sister in Christ, in the dream, if you remember, if you're a subscriber of mine and you remember this, in the dream, I mentioned a 18-wheeler first Going by, I went to the back, my back door, and I can see the interstate in real life out of my back door. But I have an all-glass back door in my house, okay? I'm looking in the dream. I'm looking out. There's a 18-wheeler riding by in the sky. The trailer of this 18-wheeler is jet black, just as black as you see this phone, jet black. And I'm looking and I'm talking to somebody in my dream like, there is an 18-wheeler going by in the sky. And the person in the dream comes to look and see what I'm looking at and it's just going on by, as if you would see a plane fly by. 
You get it? Plane fly by, but instead it was an 18 wheeler with a jet black trailer on the back. I had forgot about that portion of the dream until I saw looking at these jet black birds. I don't know. I, I don't know. But let, let me let me share another scripture with you. Turn to the book of Ezekiel, chapter um, 38. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 20. Watch this. It, it reads, So that the fishes of the sea and the files of the heaven, meaning birds, and the beasts of the field, and all creeping things that creep upon the earth, and all the men that are upon the face of the earth, shall shake at my presence. And the mountains shall be thrown down, and the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. Listen, in this dream, um, I heard this, and this shall come forth all in one day. Now, Louisiana also has a stadium with a body of water and cruise ships docked from there. So does Houston. Okay? Louisiana has nine letters in it. Nine equals, uh, nine represents judgment. Louisiana has it coming, I know. Now, again, I'm not saying that this dream have anything in relation to Houston, but it very well can. And I'm just, hey, I'm doing my part of warning to let you know to be on guard. Okay? Um, it, it could happen later on down the line. It could be another stadium, whatever. But like I said, I went to bed with thinking of this Houston and somebody sent me this video about these birds with Houston. The dream was on the 19th. So did these birds come on the 19th. These birds are flying. Animals know stuff before we do. But I know a chief person, a chief God, <laughs> that know the darkness that hides too. And he revealed his secrets. So we must Stay alert. Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 12. It's in the four Gospels. It says, And this note, that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. You don't want your hour to be in the hour of going to a Super Bowl game. Now, again, I'm not telling you this to put you in fear because God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I'm saying also in the book of Luke, it says, watch ye therefore and pray. We need to be praying always. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for the Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, that they may open up unto him immediately. You don't, you don't want that thief, Satan. And I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the thief, Satan that comes to steal, kill, and destroy because you're not watching. You're not being alert. And I mean this. It's okay to go places, but I'm saying we must pray before we go anywhere because we have to what? Redeem the times for they are evil. Now, would I go to a game? A Houston? Not what I've got seen. Nope. Uh-uh. I ain't no sense of me even bothering the Lord about asking him, can I go? Nope. Not going. You can watch it from the TV for free in the safety of your own home. But if you like it, I love it. For those of you who are going, 
I'm just saying, plead the blood of Jesus over yourself. I rebuke the hand of the enemy over anybody's life um, that uh, is going to the game. I need to remind also uh, to pray for your children. Plead the blood of Jesus over your children. Um, cover your children by the blood of Jesus. Okay, those, all the kids, college students, um, the, uh, your babies, children, all children. Okay, um, do that. And, and before I leave this video, I want to say a prayer. Okay, bow your heads. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day that you have given us, Father, for we did rejoice and was glad in it. Father, we thank you for warning, for warnings are a form of mercy. Father, we thank you that your word says you will never leave us or forsake us. Father, we thank you that the he, greater is he that is in us than the he that is in the world. Father, I decree and declare that your people, the people under the sound of my voice, Lord God, be watchful and praying always and praying without ceasing. Father, I bind and take authority, Lord God, up over every demonic force, territory, government agent, assignment of the demonic realm that will be assigned to do any type of attack, Lord God, against the people that will be traveling on the highways and that will be in, in these games. I bind and take authority, Lord God, up over every destiny, thief, devourer, and destroyer. Father God, I loose a praying spirit upon the people under the sound of my voice, Lord God, and cover them by the blood of Jesus. I hear by boomerang back, Lord God, every plan of the enemy back to the pits of hell from which it came. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I seal this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Look, listen to me. We don't want these things to happen. This is this one thing that I was shown, I don't want it to happen. We must get on our knees and pray that it don't happen. Okay, I'll, you get to go to the game and you, you, you traveling to and fro, you get to your destination safely, you watch the game, have fun, get home. Get home. But stay prayed up. I love you guys. See you next video.